Let's continue to prep our model by renaming some scenes as well as creating section cuts. We can first by renaming some scenes. For example, this one we can rename as stairs. Scene six, if we double click on it, we can just call this living room. Scene seven is looking at stairs. And scene five, call this bookshelf. Remember scene two and scene three were those styles that we used in SketchUp. Now the next thing we wanna do is create section cuts. And the first one that we want to do is create a section cut for the first floor plan. The section cut tool is right here. Go ahead and click on it. And notice that it aligns to whatever face that you're currently hovering over, similar to how the protractor or rectangle tool would work. Since we want something on the ground plane, we want to make sure it's in this direction. And then you can hold down shift, as it says right here, to lock to that plane. And our cut, we want to have right about here. We zoom out. You'll notice it creates this rectangle. And this is the actual control for the section plane itself. So we can select it and then take the Move tool. And we can move up or down depending on where we want our cut to be. And I always try to have the cut somewhere between the window. So that looks pretty good right there. Next, you can hide the section cut either by right-clicking on it and selecting Hide. Or on a Mac, you could go to View, Customize Toolbar, and you can bring up these two tools. And this allows you to essentially turn the section plane on or off, or activate it and deactivate it. So in this case, we want to hide it. We then want to click on a top view, pan over. And we could either have this plan in 3D, like it's shown, or we could go to Camera, Parallel Projection, and that will give us a true plan in 2D. And this is what I prefer. Now let's create a scene with this, but let's go to Layers first. And for the plan, we really don't want to show the Google Earth views that are saved here. And we can select the two groups of the neighboring buildings and just hide them. That way we really just see our plan. Next, add this as a scene. And let's call this first floor plan. Let's also take this arrow and just move this to the top so that it's the first scene. Now to create another section, just simply take the section tool. Now let's do a section cut going in this direction. Remember, hold down shift. And let's cut this halfway through this couch right here. Now I want to flip this so it's viewing the other direction. You can select the active section. Make sure you highlight it so that it displays this blue edge. And then right click on it and select reverse. So now that'll create the section cut this way. And I like this direction a little bit better since it shows the dining room as well as the kitchen that we worked on there. Now to get a true straight view of this, we're already in parallel projection, if you take a look at camera. But we want to align to this view. And to do that, just select the section cut, then right click, and select Align View. So that's going to align us perfectly to that elevation. And again, we could turn this into a perspective if we wanted to, or we could keep it parallel. Let's keep this parallel for one scene. Let's hide the cut. Add this as a scene, call this section cut. And last but not least, let's turn this slightly and turn it into a perspective. And we'll add that as a scene. And let's call this section perspective. Now, the one thing that you'll notice is it doesn't fill in the gaps or the pochette on the section cut. Let's use a couple tools in the next video to create that.